Yo, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today I'm going to, a couple people asked me uh, a few things to look out for when buying a CVPI. Uh, you know, like to look for like any problems, to look for, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, basically, I, I, I just say tip number one, just common sense. Uh, you know, look at it thoroughly, you know, and, and with Crown Vicks, um, the way I always looked at them, uh, like with my first one, with my first, uh, crown, with my first crown Vic, I looked at the intake, I looked at the front and the back of the intake to see if it was any cracks, cause you know, crown Vicks, a little known for blowing intakes, uh, a little known for getting little cracks in the back of, and whatnot, um, uh, Another thing I looked for on my first crown Vic, uh, the trainers. For some reason, the Vicks do not like second gear. Uh, I don't know if it's what all crown Vicks. I just know that the interceptors uh, they don't like second gear. So what I did was I uh, before I floored it. Once I started rolling, I coasted up to twenty five thirty. Let it shift in the second gear. And see, uh, you know, if, it, if the trans shifts right. But the way with my last one, with the one I got now, uh, I already knew it needed a trans. So all I really looked for was uh, the intake. Seeing that the intake needed to be replaced, it didn't. And it still don't. Let me knock on wood. But, uh, you know... And, you know, just look out for, like, any unplugged holes, you know, that's left over from the department. That's if you're buying it from auction or whatnot. Uh, just basically use common sense. It's it's like any other used car, you know. Um, you can roll the dice and you can come out good and not have to do nothing for a while. And you can roll the dice, come out you can still come out good, but turn around and do some serious, some serious work short term down the road. Or you can just buy it and rebuild it like I did in mine. Uh, bought it for cheap, you know, did a little fixing up on it. Um, after I fixed it up, nothing major, just a hood bearing until the rear end and the shaft started falling apart. Back in October. So, um... You know, just basically like kind of use common sense when buying a used car. You know, do research on a car first. That way you know what to look for. That way you're not going in blind and, you know, the car might have a common problem. But you don't know nothing about it until it goes and then somebody tell you, oh, yeah, these cars had a common problem. You know, and then you don't have the money to fix it and whatnot. Um, I just say, you know, just research the car, make sure, cause like the way I did, like I, at first I said, I wouldn't mind buying, uh, a 98, I mean, a 96 through 2011 fix, you know, cause when I first started looking at the VIX, I'm thinking, you know, okay, they all the same, you know, they all got the same horsepower, whatnot, cause they all got the same 4.6 V8 two valve, um, but then I, you know, more and more I started doing research on them. I found out other than interior body styles and, you know, they, they different in horsepower, you know. I found out what the 96, 96, 97 body styles, but they only put out like 190, 200 horses, somewhere around up in there. And, uh, or 210, 215, somewhere up in there. And I found out the uh, 98s through 03s, 04s, they put out, what, two, 220, 225, somewhere around up in there. And then, you know, the 06s, the, the 05s and up, 240, so, I mean, not 240, 250. Um, you know, so, you know, I just did research and then... You know, I found out that the uh, 95s through 97s like to spit out spark plugs. 
uh, they could have had a problem with a spark plug to shoot out. Then I found out the uh, 98s through 03s, 04s, I want to say, had the major notorious intake issue. And the 03s, definitely. And uh, then the 03s and 04s had electrical problems. Uh, 05s had a little bit of an electrical problem, like the headlights, all the lights are just shut out randomly, you know. And then I was just like, forget it, you know. I want the, uh, I'm more performance guy, I want the max power, so you know, just give me the 250 and up, and we cool. So, uh, that's how I really settled on it, you know. Just do, just do, just do a research when buying a, you know, used car, uh. Try not to get scammed, you know, any prices that, you know, whatever price the seller set, it's always room for negotiation. And especially if the car need a few repairs, you deduct that from the price. Like, look, I gotta get this fixed, I gotta get that fixed. But you know, them to come in, you know, with buying the Crown Vic, if you're gonna buy old, I say with all Crown Vicks, you look at the intakes. And you look at the transmission, especially if you buying a uh, CVPI, you know, because, yeah, the police spent a lot of time running them the cold threes and, you know, they done, they accelerated and then looked at the transmission many times. So, other than that, they great cars, you know, so, uh, just use common sense and if you made it to the end of the video. Yo, and like, comment, subscribe.